Uh, so let me give you the whole name. It's Colet Liddell Lafayette Clark. I come out of a lot of experiences, very diverse experiences, but I begin with the civil rights movement, first in Mississippi, then Alabama, from Alabama to Tennessee, from Tennessee to Chicago, and from Chicago to the National Peace Movement. And then I, I revert back south again and I begin the process all over. I've done some of everything. Hello, Gloria. Hi, Mike. Uh, some of everything across my journey. Um, I've worked for the press. I've, in fact, edited um, a, a black newspaper in Mississippi, which got bombed, frequently. People didn't like us that much because we were far too radical. Um, but I've also done other kinds of work uh, with youth centers, homeless shelters. Uh, I, I've been homeless. I mean, I've done, 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 done a lot of things across my life include taught college job. Uh, and now I'm getting interested as I come into my elder years, I guess they're considered the elder years when you cross 70. Is, is that elder? <laughs> oh, I'm getting more and more interested in electoral politics. And even though I've worked in electoral politics um, for many, many years, I was never that interested really in becoming a politician. Just helping other people become politicians. Beginning with the first uh, deputy mayor of Atlanta, Manny Jackson, um, in 1969, working on his campaign and, of course, working on others as the years progressed. Uh, so now I'm here interested in Green Party after struggling to develop what was the Re Reconstruction Party. Very similar to the Green Party, but more focused on the critical issues that face uh, the bottom of the country, and that is black, brown, red, uh, and uh, poor whites. So this year I'm running for the second time for U.S. Senate, and I want to thank the Green Party uh, for having been so kind as to allow me a second run. <laughs> 